If you played Launch or Wrath of Lich King, you undoubtedly remember the issue of snapshotting. Unholy DKs would sweat out of their mind in order to align as many procs as possible by switching weapons, French shot procs, desync and cooldown procs, swapping meta gems mid pull, and much more, in order to get their gargoyle to snapshot with as many stats as possible. For some context, snapshotting is when you use an ability, it takes the existing stats that you have at the moment and applies it to the spell for the entire duration. Gargoyles were ultimately changed to have a dynamic scaling, meaning that if your buffs faded during the time the gargoyle was up, it would no longer gain the benefit of those previous buffs like it would before. Cataclysm has quite a few classes where snapshotting is important, such as dot classes and feral druids looking to snapshot their rip before going into execute phase in order to have the same snapshotted rip up for the rest of the fight. But Cataclysm has a problem, and it's the problem of degenerate snapshots. If you'll be spamming dungeons with the Demonology Warlock who is looking to parse, get ready to have your loot ninjaed. The way that the mastery system for Demo Warlocks worked was that mastery would increase the damage you dealt while transformed into meta, as well as your pet damage. But when you transformed, the mastery would snapshot your current mastery and you'd benefit from that mastery for the entire duration. That means that Warlocks looking to pump would before the fight equip an absolute clown set filled to the brim with mastery. Your Abyss Trinket with the Mastery on use, Warlock item. Static Mastery Trinket with Agility proc, Warlock item. Agility Rings and Necks with high Mastery values, you get it, Warlock items. Luckily, Warlocks only get to wear cloth, but you get the picture. Every item will be stacked with Mastery Gems and Enchants, and then Warlock would pop meta and swap back to his normal set right before the encounter starts. Oh well, that's just one class. I don't have to worry about that, right? Right? Let's just quickly go over all the classes that I can think of that it affects. Red Paladins will from the beginning of the expansion till the end be looking to secure 4 set of the Protection Paladin tier 11. The set bonus made your Guardian of the Ancient Kings go from a 12 second shield wall to an 18 second shield wall. But people realized that it didn't specify which Guardian of the Ancient King it was for. So, sure enough, if you pop Guardian of the Ancient Kings on your Rets, for which the cooldown is a 30 second duration, and one that scales with duration, it becomes a 45 second duration cooldown instead. Of course, you'll only have the tanky pieces equipped right before the pull, pop Guardian, and then go back to your normal DPS gear. Mages already have their best in slot tier, since tier 10 gives you 18% damage increase while using mirror images. Yes, that's right. The buff will stay active if you pop mirror images before the fight and swap into your normal gear. Are you a uh, Blood Death Knight looking to have a Frost off spec? Tough luck. Every serious Death Knight will have an Unholy off spec, so they can pop Unholy Frenzy on someone other than themselves and then swap spec right before the pull. Same with Rogues who can pop Vendetta from the Assassination Tree and then swap to combat or sub. In tier 13, Elemental Shamans and Enhanced Shamans will have access to the tier bonus from the Resto gear giving them 30% haste buff while Spirit Walker's Grace is active, giving them an extra lust for 20 seconds on pull. This just scratches the surface. All it does is create friction on every pull you do, and not to mention that your hunters who accidentally pull before the timer goes off with their traps will grief the entire raid so hard that most skills will just opt to wipe if someone pulls the buffs before the timer goes off. I don't know about you, but this is not fun gameplay, and it's something I'd like to see Blizzard change. If you like this type of Cataclysm content and would like to learn more about the game before the official release, make sure to subscribe as I'll be releasing a few videos every week over the next few months. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.